hello everyone hello everyone hope you all are doing great guys today in this video i am going to show you how to configure terminal server or you can say how to configure access server in this video i am going to give you overview of my physical rack so as you can see there are there are 10 devices in my rack there are five routers and five switches out of five routers I will use only four routers for practical and four switches for practical. I have kept one router for terminal server. So as you can see, all devices are connected through console cable, right? There are a uh, few 2911 router and there are few 2811 router and this is my physical connection right this is how i have connected all device together okay so i will explain this topology later through my laptop screen first of all let me take you behind this router and here you can see last router right router number five is for terminal server so i will configure two eight double one router this router as terminal server so here you can see i have add one serial card and i have used one octet cable so octet cable is connected to my 2811 router where i am going to configure terminal server and eight ports of rj45 connector is connected to console port of each devices and there is one more connection ethernet connection right so i have connected this router this access uh, router with my home wi-fi router so that we can provide internet here so you can see here first ethernet 0 slash 0 port is connected to internet so on this port i will run ip address dhcp and my home router will provide ip address to this server okay so okay later we will discuss that how i have connected these devices through my laptop screen but this is the overview of my rack there are four routers and four switches for practical that means we will use eight devices for practical okay and see this cable one end of ethernet cable is connected to my home router fine so now hope topology is clear to you rack is clear to you in my rack there are uh, five routers out of five routers i will use one router for access server and uh, four router for practical okay so without wasting our time i am going to take you on my computer screen where i am going to describe the connection the configuration everything step by step okay but make sure if you will like this video you will hit on like button okay so on my computer screen you can see this is my rack this is my rack so in my rack you can see there are four routers and four switches these are some few routers are cisco 2811 and few are 2911 and there are four switches so catalyst 3560 switches are there there are four switch right and this is how all devices are directly connected together okay and in the left side you can see uh, i have one uh, access server so this is cisco 2811 router where i will configure uh, access server or you can say terminal server through terminal server my laptop is connected through console port okay so first of all see router one is connected to router so switch one also and to switch two also router one means all routers are directly connected with switch one as well and switch two as well okay zero slash zero interface of all routers are connected to switch one and zero slash one ports of all routers are connected to switch two like zero slash zero interface of router one is connected to switch one zero slash one port uh, router 2 0 slash 0 port is directly connected with switch 1 uh, 0 slash 2 port okay and this is my access server right this is also Cisco router so where we will configure access server and my access server is connected through internet okay on fast ethernet 0 slash 0 of my access server I have connected one ethernet cable where internet is coming 
fine so that i can take access of my server remotely right because now i am i have to access through console port through console cable but later i will show you how to how i will access my uh, server my terminal server remotely as well okay so 0 slash 0 is connected to switch 1 0 slash 1 interface and 0 slash 0 of router 2 is connected to 0 slash 2 so you can see these things here okay and switch 1 and switch 2 are directly connected with 0 slash 21 and 0 slash 22 ports fine so here also you can see ports on switch 2 means router 1 is connected with router 1 port 0 slash 1 is connected with uh, 0 slash 1 interface of switch 2 0 slash 1 interface of router 2 is connected to connected with switch 2 0 slash 2 interface right router number 4 0 slash 1 is directly connected with switch 2 with port number 0 slash 4 switch 1 switch 2 is connected through port number 21 and 22 right switch 2 and switch 4 or you can say switch 1 and switch 3 are directly connected with port number 19 and guys on switch number 4 from port number 14 to 24 uh, on my switch uh, there is some hardware issue that's why these ports are not working i will replace it later so now i am using port number 0 slash 1 instead of using 0 slash 19 on switch number 4 so there is uh, here i will connect with same port 0 slash 19 on switch 4 as well but now I have used 0 slash 1 for 0 slash 19, 0 slash 2 for 0 slash 20 in the same way 0 slash 4 for 0 slash 20 and 0 slash 6 for 0 slash 24 ok. So this is how my switches are directly connected that means switch 1 and switch 3 are directly connected with port number 19 and 20 switch number 2 and 4 are directly connected with same port 19 and 20 switch 1 and switch 4 are also directly connected with port number 23 and 24 in the same way switch 2 and switch 3 are also directly connected with port number 23 and 24 ok so hope now this uh, uh, how devices is, are connected in my rack is clear to you so through this topology we can create any logical topology so see suppose i want to create topology like this r1 r2 r3 and lan lan network are connected with all router so we can design this logical topology from this physical topology so later we will understand how we can design uh, different types of topology on rack okay maybe while discussing routing protocol or uh, while discussing switching protocols every time we will design logical topology on this rack only right and by default all ports of router are down and all ports of switches are up as you know okay now guys how i have connected octet cable so let me show you let me tell you that on my access server this is Cisco 2811 router right where I have uh, I will configure uh, I will run some command so that this router will behave like uh, access server or terminal server here on on one slot I have put one serial card right and my access server is connected to router and the uh, so connected to internet through my home Wi-Fi router right so this is my home Wi-Fi router and through home Wi-Fi router my laptop is also connected wirelessly right so through wire I have connected my uh, Cisco 2811 router with my home router so that uh, we we can connect our access server to internet and this is how I will uh, give access to you guys as well so that you guys can practice on real devices from your bedroom you don't need to move anywhere okay if you are connected through internet you can access this rack from your bedroom so i am going to start ccnp live training batch for, uh, and 
now we will pro i will provide the access of this lab to all students right so i am going to uh, collect only 20 serious people for, for to serious people for this training okay so if you are interested uh, please enroll as soon as possible because seats are limited fine let's begin see here i have insert one serial card where there are eight port on that card all right eight pin you we can say and here i will insert my uh one end of octet cable right serial where serial type is applicable right through that we will connect all daughter together right on the console port of router one console port of router two console port of router three console port of router four console port of switch one console port of switch two that means we will connect rj45 console connected to all these devices right so if i will take access of my access server i can take access of my routers and switches as well which is available in rack okay which are available in rack fine so this is how i have connected all devices together in rack fine now i am going to show you how to configure access server how to configure a router so that your router will act as a terminal server guys this is very interesting video try to understand very carefully these things definitely interviewer will not ask you question from here but this video can help you a lot to design a rack to whenever you need to design rack for preparation or uh, for company you can configure like this this also this only actually right you will configure like this only okay so whenever we want to take access of multiple devices together we need to configure one access server or we can say terminal server there right through terminal server you will connect all your physical devices together and you will take remote access of your access server on laptop or on computer through your access server you can take access of any networking devices fine and on my access server i will pro i will assign one static public ip address through that static public ip address you can also take access okay so let me take access of my router through console port now so now click on serial and as you know console cable is connected with my computer to access server so let me take access and here you can see i have access of my uh, router right now guys let me check is there any configuration so i think there is some configuration on on this router so first of all i am going to delete configuration from this router right so that uh, i i can uh, show you from the scratch what will be the configuration of our terminal server first of all let me check a startup configuration that is there any information available in nvram so so ip interface brief let me check ip configuration uh, let me run one more command here so ip interface brief exclude unassigned so you can see ip is not configured on any interfaces of this router so but there is some configuration in nvram so let me erase startup configuration and now i am going to reload this device okay reload fine it will take few minutes so what you can do you can skip this video or let me let, let me stop the recording for some time so as you can see my device is booting now it will take few more time so wait guys so once i will get access of this server right, this router we will configure one ip address from dhcp server which is running uh, on my wi-fi router as you know by default dhcp services is enabled on home wi-fi router so 
I am going to run one command on first Ethernet 0 slash 0 interface of this router, right? IP address DHCP, this command. At that, after running this command, this router will get one IP address from DHCP server. Then we will check from CMD that I am able to ping that IP address from this computer or not, from my laptop or not. If I am able to ping, that means I can directly take telnet access through internet, right? Then I will remove console cable from my laptop, okay? So let's say no over here, okay? Why my keyboard is not working? Yes. So now you can see there is nothing. This is default configuration, completely de default configuration. If you will check, so a startup configuration, you can see a startup configuration is not present. Fine. Now go to global config mode interface F0 slash 0 IP address DHCP. No set. IP address DHCP so just wait for some time till this router will get IP address from DHCP server so IP interface brief exclude unassigned so here you can see this router got IP address from DHCP server this one is my IP address now let me ping this IP address from CMD right just check connectivity is their IP connectivity between my computer between my laptop and this router or not so let me open CMD over here and let me ping 192.168.0.104 so you can see I am able to ping that means there is IP connectivity between my computer and this router so now if I want to take telnet I can get telnet access right now i can remove console cable as well but for for telnet access we need to configure telnet service on router by default telnet is enabled but we need to configure password and login over here then only i can uh, get telnet access of this router fine so just just wait let me configure through console console uh, cable now so see this is configuration for access server right these command will enable access server services on this router so let me copy these all command and let me paste it on my router if you want to if whenever you need to configure terminal server what you can do you can also use these command directly okay then we will check line that how many lines are available here on this router so go to first of all let me save the configuration copy running configuration to startup configuration right okay so now my configuration has saved in nvram so you can verify it as well so a startup configuration you can see now very interesting things right let me check so line so you can see there are 15 line 16 line actually 0 slash 1 slash 0 to 0 slash 1 slash 15 that means we can connect 16 devices together through this server right and now I am going to connect only 8 devices but in one rack we can connect 16 devices and we can take access of 16 devices together through these line interface fine so go to global configure mode and here i am going to configure host so ip host and then see host name is r1 and here we need to set port number so as you can see for line 1 port number is 18 right port number is 18 let me show you again okay so see here port number is 18 so and you will add 2000 right so, so to, port number will be 2018 here okay then we need to configure one ip address so i have already configured ip address on loopback interface here you can see on loopback 0 i have run ip 1.1.1 255.255.255.255 so i am going to 
configure host through this IP address. So whenever I need to take access of any devices in my rack, I will take access through this IP address. Okay. Now this is for R1. Let me do same thing for R2 as well. And now if you want to verify, okay, let me verify later. First of all, let me configure all devices here. So R2 for R2 line number will be 19. 2019 for R3 line number will be 20 okay for R4 for router 4 port number will be 21 2021 for 21 and for all lines you can see I am using same IP address okay which is running on my loopback interface switch 1 port number will be 22 for switch 2 port number will be 23 and for switch 3 port number will be 24 right switch 3 port number 24 switch 4 port number will be 25 okay so configuration of terminal server is done guys now we don't need to configure anything so you can simply verify by running command so host and here you can see there are eight hosts available on this server let me write the configuration now my configuration is saved in nvram now what we can do simply if i want to take access of router one here i can type router one r1 so see it trying and now you can see I have access of my router one. Okay. So this is how we can configure terminal server. And let me show you how we can take telnet access. So let me open secure CRT here. Okay. Mm, let me maximize it so that background color will be black. Then text will be visible to you. Text will be clearly visible because in white in secure crt i have configured transparent interface so let me close previous session i'm closing all previous session okay okay now i am going to take telnet access of my server of my access server okay let me black it let me set black background here so that configuration will be visible to you okay now connect and this one is ip address so let's click on connect okay so let's click on connect and password is pm123 so let me type pm123 okay so now you can see i have telnet access of my server here i am going to run enable and there is one enable password pm123 okay now you can see i have access of my terminal server and from here i want to access r1 let's say r1 so just type r1 here and hit enter so whenever you will see this type of message connection refused by a remote we need to clear this line because uh, someone else created one session so let me clear line 18 okay and after this command if you will run r1 you can see i have access of my router one now in the same way i want to take access of my router two so what i can do first of all let me check ip so you can see there is uh, not ip ip is not configured here okay so cdp neighbor switch one and switch two are neighbor to router number one as you know in the topology switch one and switch two is connected with router number one so this is how we can verify directly connected devices as well through cdp neighbor 
ओके सी डी पी एस टेन फोर सिस्को डिस्कवरी प्रोटोकॉल विच इज यूज फॉर ट्रबल शूटिंग ओके नाउ यू कैन सी स्टेटस इज अप प्रोटोकॉल इज अप दैट मीन्स आई हैव रन नो सट कमांड ऑन ऑल बोथ इंटरफेसेस एंड इफ यू वॉन्ट टू क्रिएट टेक एक्सेस ऑफ अदर डिवाइसेज जस्ट क्लोन द सेशन एंड लेट मी टाइप पासवर्ड हियर नाउ यू कैन सी एक्सेस I have access of terminal server again let me run enable password and let me take access of router 2 here also it's saying connection refused by remote host so let me clear the line clear line 19 and let's say r2 okay okay so maybe my internet is not working properly so that's why it's taking time but definitely you will get access of router 2 so you can see here i have access of router 2 in the same way i can take access of all devices okay so this is just a video to make you understand how we can take uh, access of my uh, real devices in rack from next video i will perform practical on real devices right because in gns3 or in evng output sometime i observed that output is different from real time so it will a uh, difficult uh, to a take hand on experience from the simulation software so that's why if we will practice on real devices it will give us hand on experience okay and that will be great for us right interviewer will also ask question uh, from sometime from the log message which log message sometime you will not receive log message in simulation software but on real devices whatever things you will do or whatever things you will absorb over here the same things will be absorbed by you in real time as well right okay so because there is no any difference between this devices and the real time devices which companies or which industries are using nowadays okay so let me show you to take access of one switch as well so again here also i need to know here you can see i have access of switch 1 in the same way i can take access of switch 2 also and in next video i will show you how to design logical topology because now physical overview is clear to everyone now if you are able to understand how these devices are directly connected in the rack so we can design any logical topology from this rack right on this rack and there we will configure multiple things multiple protocols routing protocols sometimes switching protocols like stp ether channel vtp dtp vpn ipsec gre gre tunnel okay ospf bgp isis these protocols right on the real devices so definitely i am not interested to perform practical on simulation software sometime definitely i will perform in simulation software as well but but most of the time i will try to perform a practical on real devices okay guys and if you are interested for live training so i am going to start ccnp live training from 20th of feb right means 20th of this month so you can enroll for the training uh, if you will enroll definitely you will get access of this real devices so you can practice on my rack i have three rack i have two more rack one for security and one for st van okay so later on maybe i will make video on those rack as well but for now this is all about the terminal server configuration okay so if you like this video please hit on like button if you haven't subscribed my channel please subscribe this channel we will meet soon in next video till then stay safe guys and if you have any doubt if you want any video on any other topics let me know in comment definitely i will make video Bye bye guys thank you thanks for watching